In this lesson, I will go over two formulas for finding the standard deviation of a group of numbers. One equation is called the shortcut method, and I'll tell you why it's called that. But really, it's an alternate way of finding the standard deviation. If you haven't already, please take a second right now and subscribe to this channel. And thank you for watching. Let's begin now on MathCat. Three, two, one. One way to find the standard deviation is to take x, the numbers in your group, minus the mean of that group, square the difference, sum the difference of the squares, and divide by n minus 1. Another way to find the standard deviation, and it comes from just reworking these numbers, is to take the square root of the summation of x squared minus the summation of your group numbers squared divided by n, the number of your numbers, over n minus 1, and everything is under the radical sign. And we can call this one the shortcut method, and you look at it and it looks pretty complicated for a shortcut. So why is it called the shortcut method? And I'll show you with an example. Let's take a group of numbers and find their average. x bar is the sum divided by the number of numbers, in this case n equals 5. So we sum them up, divide by 5 all over 5, and that sums to 30 over 5. x bar is 6. So the average of this group of 5 numbers is 6. Let's find the standard deviation the first way. Well, let's take the number in our groups, x, and the difference each number is away from the mean, x minus x bar, in this case 6, so 2 minus 6 is minus 4, 4 minus 6 is minus 2, 6 minus 6 is 0, 8 minus 6 is 2, and 10 minus 6 is 4. Now we're going to square all these differences. x minus x bar quantity squared. So minus 4 squared is 16, minus 2 squared is 4, 0 squared is 0, 2 squared is 4, and 4 squared is 16. And we add these up, 16 and 4 is 20, and 20 is 40. So the summation of x minus x bar squared is 40. So we can now find the standard deviation because we need the summation of the differences squared. The standard deviation s equals square root of the summation of the squares 40 divided by n minus 1. Well there's five numbers in our group so n minus 1 is 4. So the standard deviation is the square root of 10. Now let's find it using the shortcut method or the second formula. We need to know the summation of x squared, we need to know the summation of x, and we need n. But wait a minute, we don't need to know the mean. We don't need to know the difference from the mean, and we don't need to square the difference from the mean. We simply need to know x, x squared, and their sums. So let's make our chart. We have x, and we have x squared. 2 squared is 4, 4 squared is 16, 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64, and 10 squared is 100. And we need the sum of each one of these columns. So here we have 30, and here we have 220. So knowing these two sums and n, we can find the standard deviation. So we have the sum of x squared. The sum of x squared is 220. So let's make our radical sign. Sum of x squared is 220 minus the sum of the x's squared, that's 30 squared, divided by n, which is 5, divided by n minus 1, which is 4. And it's all under the radical. So we have 220 minus 900 over 5, all over 4. That's the square root of 220 minus 180, all over 4. 220 minus 180 is 40 over 4, or square root of 10. We get the same number. So here's two formulas for the standard deviation. Both of them give us the square root of 10 for an answer for our group of numbers. And this one is called the shortcut method, although it's just simply an alternate method of finding the standard deviation of a sample. Notice it's n minus 1, and this only works for n minus 1. So it's a sample standard deviation. Why is this one called the shortcut method? Well, if you have a list of 100 numbers or 1,000 numbers, it's much easier to find x and x squared than it is to find the mean, the difference from the mean, the square of the difference from the mean, which gives you the standard deviation this way. You simply need to know x and x squared and their sums. So there's two ways to find the standard deviation.